This year, the Coca-Cola Kaimajola National Schools Cricket Week took place in a hot and dry Bloemfontein. Groundsmen had worked hard to prepare the various ovals for the week, but in weather like this, the outfields were going to favour the batsmen. The week is the culmination of a selection process that pits the top cricketers from each provincial region against each other in a variety of different formats. Day 1 and 2 are time cricket. Day 3 is T20 and days 4 and 5 are the typical ODI limited overs format. The event ends with a formal gala dinner and the announcement of the SA Under-19 Colts and SA Under-19 Schools sides. From there the boys will go on to play in the Cubs tournament early January, which ends with the selection of the SA Under-19 side. In day one, Gauteng got into all sorts of trouble against KZN Coastal. Zakaria Paruk's ball from KZN Coastal took the wicket of Gauteng's Keegan Lumley for a duck. The Gauteng top order succumbed yet again when Wandile Makwetu was caught by James Stamatis off another of Paruk's balls for just four runs. Willem Mulder managed to steady the Gauteng ship by knocking a total of 54 before going out LBW to Paruk. But it was Gauteng's Mitch van Buren who solidified the Gauteng scoreboard with an outstanding 106 runs of 159 balls. Getting the century meant quite a lot to me because I actually haven't scored a century for about a year now. And especially making it at a week like this is really special. Uh, making it for the team once we were under pressure, it was really special, I enjoyed it. Day two at the 2016 Kaya Majola week was a day full of upsets, where some feisty underdogs turned the tables on the traditional powerhouses. The game of the day was the much anticipated encounter between Gauteng and Eastern Province. The Joburg team came under early fire from a relentless bowling onslaught from Eastern Province, not allowing the Gauteng boys to open up with a bat. Joshua Richards lost his wicket after just three runs to the bowling of Eastern Province's Luto Spamla. And Joshua Kutsia went down for eight runs, caught by Jay de Klerk off the bowling of Campbell de Vette. De Klerk did further damage as the bowler, taking Wandila Makwetu's wicket for 20 runs, stumped by Jonathan Crankshaw. Beating Gauteng is a really special moment for us today as a team. I think we bowled well, batted well, and I think the partnerships was key from the batsmen. The openers showed intense. Uh, the bowlers in partnerships were really well. The openers set the game up for us by building dot balls, and, yeah, and the fielding was absolute superb. Eastern Province pulled off a true underdog win against one of the week's most powerful teams, and must certainly be a team to watch going forward. Gauteng took on Northerns in a tough unofficial semi-final 50 overs game on day four of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week. Gauteng opener Joshua Richards read the track and bowlers very quickly. The St. Stithian's right-hander sent the ball to the boundary no less than 12 times in his innings, including a six. It was concentration and I also had to stick to my game plan because I know the one bowler can swing about both ways and he's very skillful and the other one he's bowls quite a heavy ball so I just had to get in line with it and just wait for them to bowl in my uh, strengths. In the second unofficial semi-final of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week, Free State went into bat against Eastern Province. Free State number two and three bats, Chris Schroeder and Ruan Fantonda put in a fantastic partnership with both players scoring more than a century. Here's Gray College's Schroeder knocking a few of his boundaries and sixes. And here celebrating his century. And here's Fantonda, also from Gray College, doing the same thing in this very productive partnership. Well, the wicket was quite flat. I think it was easy to bat. There was a bit of movement in the beginning and some spin, but nothing much. It was quite easy to bat. EP is a good side, so it gives us momentum for tomorrow going into the final. So hopefully we can carry on playing well and just keep on going. In the unofficial final game of the 2016 Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week, Free State, who had beaten Eastern Province the day before, took on Northerns, who had beaten Gauteng. 
By this point, Northerns and Free State were the only two teams to have remained unbeaten throughout the week, upsetting traditional schools powerhouses Gauteng and Western Cape, who had dominated in previous years. Free State's Chris Schroeder opened the batting with Peku Moletani. The Grey College right-hander had been one of Free State's top batsmen over the week, knocking numerous centuries and putting in exceptional performances with the bat. So it was a major coup when he went down to the bowling of Northern's right-arm seamer Bayer Swanepoel in the third over. Next up was another Grey College right-hander, Gerald Kutsia, but in the 24th over, Francis was caught by Crick off Swanepoel for six runs off 21 balls. The rest of the Free State batting order collapsed pretty quickly under the precision of the Northern's attack, with Franklin Damons going for a single run, Tandy Plank for four, and Samokela Mohotzi's three runs by the end of the innings. Congratulations to Northern for winning the game. Uh, we decided on the man of the match, it's uh, B. Swanapool. He bowled 10 overs, 4 maidens, 3 wickets and 15 runs. At the gala dinner at the end of the final day, teams, officials and guests gathered for the final team announcements and awards for outstanding achievements. But it was also time for the boys to say what the week had meant to them. It's been an awesome week, um, made a lot of memories, learnt a lot on and off the field. I mean, I'm already playing cricket with somebody who earns money for playing the sport, a franchise cricketer. So I've learned a lot from him as well as my, my other teammates. Okay, what I've learned from the, uh, from the Coke Week is that it's all about your team. Everything depends on the teammate. We have to play for each other and for the team, for the, your partner next to you's success, we have to be as a team. There's a lot of runs we've seen been scored. Um, guys are having fun and, and expressing themselves, like the two men next to me, and uh, hopefully we can keep on going and Coke Week can keep on. Um, producing quality cricketers and yeah, uh, it's been an awesome tournament. On a level two, when she were very computer level, na wa wa bang wa greed. Until you motivate the Lord, na the day more get some level, na wa two vali. Mara ko ko kung into the level the level jerin chika mata ka ore. Yo ko ni next day sa buya green experience or next day get la mo get la ba get expect ayeng. Well, my age drop by about 20 years. That's how young I felt this week. Absolutely wonderful. The first order of the day were the awards for the various cricket achievements of the week. He scored 369 runs at an average of 73.80. Christopher Schroeder, Free State. The bowler of the week, 17 wickets at an average of 10.64, Rwanda Swart Northerns. Also the all-rounder of the week, Rwanda Swart Northerns. The catch of the week, Donovan Ferreira, Northerns versus Gauteng. And ladies and gentlemen, the cricketer of the week, Ruan de Swart, Northerns. Next up, it was time for the Coca-Cola Hero of the Week Awards. We asked Pindi Piri what these awards were all about. 
It's basically a daily accolade that we give, which we award to um, an outstanding player who shows like um, uh, that courageousness on and off the field, who shows sportsmanship, who selflessness, just an all-rounded player. He's not necessarily the best guy on the pitch, but when you look at him holistically, he's the guy that has the heart and the courage, and, and that's what uh, we encompass as a company, and that's what Heroes of the Day is about. The Coca-Cola Euro of the Tournament for 2016 is Chadwin November from Northern Cape. Um, first of all, I did not expect that uh, at any chance that I would get that award. That was the moment when I bowled the eliminator over and I only conceded four runs and took two wickets. And in the afternoon, I followed up with a hat trick against Free State. Finally, the event everyone had been waiting for. The announcement of the SA Under-19 Colts and SA Under-19 Schools teams. So now I'll present to you the South African Colts team and to captain the team, Jean Duplessis, Glenwood House, Southwestern District. The boys being led by Duplessis are Gerald Kutsia, Free State, Jared Algar, Eastern, Sinalo Gobeni, Boerland, Sipamandla, Kwekre, Border, Mohamed Mayet, Gauteng, Michlala Mpongwana, Eastern Cape, Zakaria Paruk, KZN Coastal, Jevishan Pillay, KZN Inland, Jason Robenheimer, Border, William Senden, Boerland, and Mitchell von Buren, Gauteng. Well, basically the boys um, we're going to have tomorrow is probably the most talented players that we have in the country. So I'm very happy to do that and um, hopefully we can put on a good show tomorrow. Excited for tomorrow's game and I mean it's it's obviously an honour to lead a, such a great group of players and um, hopefully I can do uh, well tomorrow as well. The South African schools captain Vian Mulder, St. Stithians College, Gauteng. The team being led by Mulder is Matthew Brietzka, Eastern Province, Jesse Christensen, Western Province, Michael Cohen, Western Province, Jade de Klerk, Eastern Province, Ruan de Swart, Northerns, Akonam Kanya, Border, Sinetembe Kreshile, Border, Christopher Schroeder, Free State, Luto Sipamla, Eastern Province, Keenan Smith, Eastern Province, and Reinhard van Tonder, Free State. Now, obviously very proud to have Vian as a captain of the SA school side. He's already a, an experienced first class cricketer and uh, the team selected was a difficult team to select and obviously they're boys who've missed out but uh, this is not the end of the road for any of them and hopefully the SA school side will put up a good shot tomorrow. It's, it's a real honour and obviously absolute pleasure and privilege to play for the SA school side never mind being the captain. Um, I, I really can't wait, like you said I had a lot of fun this week I really can't wait to have some more fun tomorrow and hopefully lead the SS school side to another victory. The awards evening was a fitting end to five spectacular days of outstanding cricket and yet another successful Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Schools Cricket Week. <laughs>